Welcome to the AACS Daily News. Many are aware of the serious risk that breast cancer poses to women, but not as many are aware that breast cancer is also an issue that affects men. Attleboro resident Marion Ridington has had personal experience with this issue, as her husband is a survivor. Many years ago, I had gone to one of my high school class reunions, and uh, there was a man there, who, a classmate, who hadn't come before to any reunion, so we hadn't seen him for years. And he'd moved to Florida, and that's why we hadn't seen him. But he, he looked great, he had a great tan, and, and um, he told us, though, that he had had breast cancer. So a lot of us in the class never knew that men could get it at that point, because this was in the 80s. And so um, several months later, we got a letter from his wife, and she was thanking us for the great job we had done with the reunion because they'd had such a great time, but he had passed away. So that made a big impact on me. So um, the next thing that happened was uh, in 1999, my husband, uh, we were vacationing down the Cape, and so a lot of times we had ba bathing suits on, so I noticed that one of his nipples was turning in. And I said, hey, what's going on there? And he hadn't noticed. And so um, I remembered my classmate, and I said, well, we've got to get this checked. So he said, well, my physical's next month. I'll just see then. So, you know, typical guy. And so next month came, and he went to the physical, and I came home, and I said, oh, so what did the doctor say about your nipple? And he said, oh, he didn't even notice it, and I forgot to ask. So the next month came, and I went for my physical. And I mentioned it to the doctor, and the doctor said, um, oh, it's probably nothing. He said, uh, I, in 30 years of practice, I've never had a male breast cancer patient. So I thought, well, okay, but he said, but we've got to check it. So I went home and told him, and we called, and they set up an appointment, and the appointment was, um, it said that he'd have to have a mammogram. And so he went for the mammogram, and then he had to have a needle biopsy. And it was breast cancer, so they scheduled the surgery. And he had a left mastectomy, and then they took out some lymph nodes also from his armpit to see if the, it had spread, and it had not. So that was a good thing. So we went along great. And then 15 years after that, he felt a lump in his armpit. And so back to the doctors we go, and um, they scheduled surgery again, and they removed um, the lymph nodes from his left armpit, and the, they were cancerous too. So the breast, I and it was breast cancer. They call it breast cancer because they can tell it's breast cancer cells. They call it breast cancer in the armpit. So um, he uh, had radiation after that, and then everything seemed to be going along fine. But it was at that point when um, the local jewelry company in Attleboro had had a contest, Attleboro Jewelers, and they had a contest to uh, have someone design a pin, and whoever won the contest would be able to um, have that pin made by them. So uh, I designed the pin, this pin. Oops. Uh, it's the breast cancer pink ribbon, and then it's got the male breast symbol on top of it. And I started wearing it, and I started wearing this little sign that said, men get breast cancer. Because anyone that I mentioned it to that my husband had had breast cancer, they'd say, oh, I didn't know men got breast cancer. So when I started wearing these pins, I started having, you know, I'd be standing in a grocery line a store or whatever, and somebody would say, oh, wow, I didn't know men got breast cancer. And I just feel that there is nowhere near enough awareness made of the fact that they do. Uh, it has gotten better because I've been wearing them every year in October, every day for quite a few years now. And it does seem as though there aren't quite as many people saying it, but um, that's a good thing. And uh, I'm a, I used to be a lunch lady at the high school and I wore my pins every day uh, at school during October so that the younger generation could know that the men get breast cancer. Uh, one of the bigger incidents that happened that make me really feel strongly about this is one day we were at a county fair it was the Topsfield Fair, and uh, we were standing around a lady that was doing a demonstration, and people started noticing my pins, and so some of them started asking questions, and I started answering them. Pretty soon I was doing more talking than the lady given the demonstration, and then finally the, the group moved on, but one man stayed, and he asked me some more questions, and when he walked away, he said, you may have just saved a life. So that, to me, is why we've got to get the word out there. He must have had a lump and not realized it could be breast cancer until he heard me talking and saw my pins.